Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to keep a rolling recording of all ambient audio on Android. And we've all had times where we wish the real world came with a DVR feature. Whether you're taking notes in class or you want to settle an argument about something that was said, it would be really nice if we could flip back in time real quick and get a chance to hear things a second time. Well, a free and open source app called Echo can actually do this for you. It keeps a constant rolling recording of everything that was said within earshot of your phone. So at any point, you could just press a button to go back in time, so to speak. Now you can find this app on the Google Play Store, but the developer has stopped updating that version. So you'll only find the latest and greatest on the F-Droid repository. So to get this one going, make sure you've enabled unknown sources in settings under security, then head to fdroid.org and search for Echo. Alternatively, you can find a direct link to the download page in step 1 over at my full tutorial, and that might be a little easier. But either way you go about it, once you've made it to the download page, scroll down to the Packages section, then tap the Download APK link. Then once the file is saved to your device, go ahead and tap the Download Complete notification to launch it, then press Install on the following screen. When that's finished, simply open Echo to enable its audio recording service, and from now on, everything your phone hears will be documented. At this point, you really could just exit the app and go about your business, and it would keep recording everything it hears in the background, but there are a few more aspects to it that I should probably cover. First of all, yes, this will cause a bit of extra battery drain. Echo itself is a very efficient app, but because it records audio when your screen is off, it has to prevent your phone from entering deep sleep. So the battery drain should be about the same as streaming music with your screen off. And as for real world numbers, I've noticed about a 10% decrease in overall screen on time since I installed this a few days ago. It's something that could easily be mitigated by plugging your phone in for an extra 30 minutes throughout the day. So if you're fine with that, you won't have any issues with Echo. Now as I mentioned earlier, Echo keeps a rolling recording, which means that after a certain period of time, the oldest parts of the recording will be overwritten with newer audio, kind of like a convenience store security cam. But the length of that recording will vary depending on your device's hardware, so you may want to tweak some options to get a longer buffer. If that's the case, just tap the settings button from Echo's main menu and then you have a couple of options. You can either increase the system memory usage or decrease the audio quality, and both of those options will get you a longer recording. Then when it comes time to play back the audio, you'll need a media app that's capable of playing WAV files. I'd recommend VLC if you don't already have one. Beyond that, just head to Echo's main menu where you'll see three buttons near the top of the screen. Each of these buttons will generate an audio file with a different length, so just pick the duration that works best for you. From here, you could press send to share the file with any compatible service like your email app, or you can press play to hear it now. At this point, it'll open in your external wave player, and playback will start at the beginning of your recording. So it's definitely a cool concept, and depending on your use case, Echo might even be an indispensable app. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.